Hello, I'm Mix Mars and Man, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at this Atco uh, Balmol 20S, um, which I picked up. It came in because it had a drive issue, and um, I've since upgraded all the drive, the, the ring gear, the pinion gear, all the intermediate gears, and uh, the pinion uh, support bracket. That's all been done, and now it runs and it drives exactly as it should do. However, I am experiencing a little bit of issues with the cylinder on this, and I have a sneaky suspicion the cylinder is actually bowed or there's something wrong with the cassette. So I'm going to take the cassette out and uh, try and inspect it, see what's going on with it. But I have just purchased um, a second-hand cassette off of eBay. I got it for an absolute steal, um, and it's been freshly ground and uh, what have you. So what I want to do is take the cartridge, cartridge out of this one, uh, fit the new one in, and then test to make sure that the new cartridge is spinning exactly as it should do and test that. I'll just show you how to test that, make sure that your cylinder is, is presented correctly to the bed knife or the, or the, uh, the, be the back knife. Um, so... This one came in, as I say, I've upgraded it all. It's all running, it all drives, it does exactly what it should do, but there is an issue with a cylinder, so we're getting on to do that today. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mars and Merman, hit your subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's get this cylinder removed out of this Atco um, Balmol 20, 20S um, lawnmower, and then I'll show you how to take it out, put a new one in, and, uh, and test it. Okay, up on the bench is the uh, 20S um, Atco Balmol. I have been using it myself. Um, this machine is hopefully due to be sold very soon and it has been cutting relatively fine. Uh, not too bad, but my, my lawn is not really, not really um, good enough for a cylinder. It does the job, but uh, my lawn is not flat enough, but uh, it has been doing the job. It comes fitted with um, the extra long roller um, on the front, which is good enough for longer grass. That, that's ideal for me. Um, but I'm experiencing a problem with this cylinder, and I'll show you what, what the problem is. I'm just going to remove the HT lead, just so the machine um, won't fire. It's got a brand, it's all serviced up, it's all good to go. Um, but as I say, I just, just didn't feel right in selling the machine um, with a condition of a cylinder. Let me get you situated a bit better so you see what's going on, and I'll show you what the cylinder is not doing. Okay, with the lawnmower slightly tipped up onto its bottom, uh, the HT has been removed, as I say, and uh, the fuel's been turned off, so we've got no leaks coming out. But here's a cylinder here. Um, you can use mind your fingers. Now, you can probably hear there's, there's no actual grinding going off on this, okay? Um, I have a suspicion that someone has hit something. This bed knife seems to have a little tiny dink in it. I think that's the, the main issue. So it could just be a bed, a bed knife problem. Um, it does seem to have a nick just here. Uh, it wasn't me. But I have tried to adjust this cylinder, and uh, with the, the old paper trick, get a piece of A4 paper and cut it down to strips, you should be able to cut this, and it's not doing anything at all. Now, I have tried to lower the cylinder, okay, which I should demonstrate now. Let me grab a, let me grab a, uh, a flat-headed driver, and I'll, show, I'll, I'll present, represent the uh, cylinder to the, to the bed knife half sensible uh, flat head. So I'm going to bring the cylinder down in increments um, a bit at a time just so we can start to present the, the cylinder to the bed knife. So it's catching there. But I can see it's starting to catch just here, okay? Just here, it's, start, it's starting to go. And we get, we're starting to get a, a bit of a cut, okay? But all the way down, it's still not doing anything. And it, it is binding, binding on, on this part of the bed knife. And nothing at all. So let me bring this side down just a touch more. Two clicks. I'm just going to back this one off a touch. Just a hair's breath, about there. And this is fine tuning. So I'm now going to present the paper again. Nothing there still. Nothing there. Definitely nothing there. 
So that tells me we're not we're not low enough, but I am already starting to get it starting to, to crease on this side here. So I'm gonna reduce this side even more. I go three clicks and just test that by with feel. There's still a gap there, I can see it from here. I can see you can see it with my eye. I'm bring that bed, that, that cylinder down to a touch more if I can. I might just have to remove this, remove the top um, grass box cover, that holder, just to give it a bit better access. Oh, there's my eye, here it is there. All right, let's come down. That's nearly there. So that's starting to go, okay? But I am experiencing, as I say, this this knocking on this side it is actually striking let me show you so it is actually striking just here right on the edge of, of that bed knife it's starting to knock just there but i suspect i don't know if you, i don't know if you can see it i'm trying to get you in i think it's got a dink in the bed knife just right there if i can notice it by eye i can um know is a problem and it look, looks to me like this bed knife is actually is actually done so i don't think the cylinder is actually broken um but it is pushing that bed knife out in places so if, if it's tight here on this location but further up onto the cylinder um and the bed knife is touching here but it's definitely not touching in the middle it's a big gap just here and the, the, it's touching here and it's touching down here i can see it is so i think the bed knife is actually is actually um got a Got a dink in it, so that's no good to us. So what I should be doing with this one <coughs> is I should be taking the um, the cassette out, take the bed knife out, remove the bed knife and put a new bed knife in and then I'm going to go again and try it again. I've got a feeling it's just the bed knife is the issue. I don't think the cylinder is actually buckled itself. But for what I paid for the, the other cylinder, um, I believe we're quids in, but there's just something not quite right here. It's just something not quite right. I know this bolt was particularly hard to, to, um, to do up um, when it came in. So it's just a few little things that are just telling me, nah, Mick, uh, you need to investigate it, mate. There's, there's something just not, just not quite going on here. It should be. I'm not an expert on these, but I do, I do have a, a, a quite, a, quite a good knowledge on the cylinders. I do do quite a few of them. Um, so hey ho. So to remove your cylinder, you want an Allen key. And it's quite simple, just remove the Allen key bolt here. And this is the one that was quite stiff. So take a little while to undo these. There's one here and there's one on the other side, exactly the same. So literally just back them off and I'll come back to you once I've done that. Okay, with the two bolts now removed off of the, uh, the cartridge, you can now remove the four bolts that hold on the side inspection panel. Uh, they're the same size, same size screws. So just remove them four very, very quickly. They're only, they're only short threads in there. They're not, they're not held on uh, massively. And normally there's always one or two bolts of these missing as well, which I always find a standard on a second hand machine because they they take them off, tip, tip them upside down, and then um, they lose a bolt. And generally that's a, that's a bolt you run over that damages your blade. So always make sure if you take the four, undo four bolts and you do outside of the lawn, just make sure that you take four out, you put four back in. If not, it'd be in your lawn somewhere. And that'd be the first thing your cylinder's gonna hit um, when you're mowing the grass. So just make sure you, you do that. And then it should be a simple case of removing the side panel. Sometimes I want to do a little bit of a tap, which is where they're being, they're being held on, but if they do come off, there you go. So that comes off. And then round here on this side of the machine, you'll actually have a, a white gear. Now this white gear, you can remove this cylinder just by lifting the handle and, and just, just pulling it straight out, okay? And that white gear will disengage from, uh, from the intermediate gears. So let's just try and remove the cylinder. It can be a bit stiff. Oh, something got caught up. Caught up there. Oh, okay. So someone's done a little bit of a, a bit of a repair to this and it weren't me. Um, this is the one that, as I say, came in. So someone's uh, done a little bit of a repair and it's not the best of repairs. <laughs> this may be even contributing towards the reason why uh, the bed knife is actually 
bent maybe, someone's done a repair to the back of a cartridge. I can get that out. It might work when in. Seems to be caught up this side, which is the side I have problems getting the bolt out. I don't want to damage this machine if I can help it. This is going to be a bit of jiggery poker in here, people. This may, this may take a while. But someone's done some riveting to the underside of this. Oh, damage the paintwork. Yeah, someone's done a bit of, bit of DIYing. Done there. Got some big rivets. There you go. Oh, that's nearly out. Fingers, Mick. Cool. Well, what's that caught up on? Oh, I nearly had that then. It shouldn't be this difficult. Let's get it to there. And then we've got a couple of rivets, it's got to jump over. That one there, and then that one there. I might just have to bend it. I think I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, word, I've not experienced this before. It's so close, but yet so far away. Give me that. Oh, it's right on that one there. That's what's causing me problems. It's getting hooked up on the back of a cowling like that. That's nearly there, people. Right, so it shouldn't it shouldn't be that difficult. If it's that difficult, you've got an issue. So now that should just slide out now. There it goes. So someone has done a little repair to the back of back of the um the cylinder. It must have rusted through. Yeah, there's a hole at the back there, I can see it. Okay. So that's the reason why. But now what I can do is I can now get a straight edge on this um bed knife to see if it is actually bent or not. Okay, got my straight edge, or as straight as I can get it. Let's cut it down flat. Oh my word, yeah, okay. All right, let me get a light and I'll show you. That's, oh, it's no wonder that cylinder wasn't cutting. It was only cutting in places, but my Lord, that is absolutely off. The bed knife is absolutely smashed. So a new bed knife will be ordered and I think I can possibly rescue um, rescue the rest of it. Just trying to find my torch. It was on charge, I believe. Yeah, it's on charge. <clears throat> Let me try and grab a torch. I'll show you what this bed knife looks like. It's <laughs> now it's actually out of the mower. You can actually see it's uh, it's shocking. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this light just behind here, something like that, and I'm going to bring you guys down off your off your perch. So I'm gonna put the bed knife up against this edge, just here, as tight as I can get it. And look, uh, let's get it level. Right, so it's not actually, so you actually see daylight through there, not here, and all the way up here, look at, look at the gap. So this bed knife's actually got, got a dink in it, and I think the dink is right there. Uh, let me try and get a decent light down to you. Sorry for moving you about, but I wanna try and show, show you. I think, I think the dink in it is just about there. So let's line it up. Yeah, there you go, there it is. So there's a dink in the bed knife. Um, so the bed knife is actually, is actually uh, got, a, got a dent in it. Not quite sure the reason why, don't know. But hey ho, we can rescue it. Hopefully the, um, the cylinder's still good. And so just by literally undoing uh, the bolt just there, where my finger is, and one on the other side, that bed knife will then come off. New bed knife to go on. Um, maybe a bit of back lapping. I'll probably get reground to be fair because it has um, hit something, obviously. 
and then hopefully we can then get this cylinder back up and working um, to be a good spare or to sell on to someone else or for, for a donor machine. So let me get the new cylinder in or the second hand donor and I'll show you what condition that one's in. Okay, so here's the second hand cylinder which I bought for eBay and, and to be fair, for, for what I paid for it, it was a steal, uh, especially for a 20 inch. These 20 inches uh, don't come up very often and uh, they can be particularly pricey. These are the, the, the biggest of the home user range that, that uh, Atco and the likes of Alec do. Um, so this one has just been, has been, it was advertised as freshly ground uh, and, and restored, so to speak. Um, so let's just see how good it is. So I've got me a piece of paper off the old printer, cut it into strips, okay? And all you wanna do is mind your fingers, but literally just, you just wanna spin this now in the direction that it cuts and you want it to make sure it, it just cuts bits of bits of strips off and you want to go every every sort of inch and a half down the cylinder to make sure that it's being presented and it, and it is cutting at every single opportunity going down so someone has either done a fantastic job or has sent it away to be done the bed knife has been ground as well can see that Did that cut not make yeah, it did cut. Yeah, I did think it did. So I'll just turn up, turn it round. It was confusing me then. So just fair. I thought it wasn't cutting, but actually it is. Perfect. All the way down. So you can also see on the bed knife. Let me take off the old perch. The cylinder's been ground professionally, or by a good by a good home user. There's a little bit. Of, there's a little bit of burn on the back edge. It could have been perhaps been back lapped as well, just tidy. But there's a little bit of burn on the back edge but also the, the, the bed knife itself has been ground as well and tidied up, okay? So that's good. So now, hopefully, when we refit this machine, um, this, this cartridge, uh, it will now cut exactly as it should do. Um, and that's how you do it, just, just for the paper test. But as I say, don't just do what I seem to people do on videos, is just put it in the middle and do it. You want to double check it's cutting the entire blade all the way down, all the way. So go, so go all the way down, through the whole the whole length of the cylinder itself. Don't just do just a middle bit. So you want to go right underneath this part here where the support of the cylinder is. Go under there as well, and it's cutting all the way down. So that's how you test to see if it is actually um, if it's set right. If it's not doing that, then it's not set right. If it's if it's doing it, but the cylinder is very hard to um, to turn, then back it off a touch. You don't really want it striking that cylinder. It's just gotta be, it's like a scissor action. You've gotta be just kissing it. So now I'm hoping this should go straight in. I shouldn't have any problems like I had with the other one, getting it out. Hopefully this one will go, will go straight in. We are a bit of a tight fit to be fair. But once you get it, once you get it sort of perpendicular, um, you can put a little bit of um, grease on there as well. In fact, I might just do that. A little bit of a lithium grease or, or something like that. I've got a bit of terrell lube, that'll do. That's good stuff. A little bit of terrell lube on there. It's not away from all the way from America. Which is like a maintenance, a maintenance lube is what it is. So that'll definitely help. And then sometimes you just have to just jiggle them in. They, they, are, they, are, quite, they are quite a tight fit, they've got to be. There's no room, no room for, for slackage. I'm trying to do it whilst trying to show you guys at the same time, which is even harder. There it goes. It's starting to go. I think I end up touch me. I'm trying to be careful because this cylinder is really sharp. That's right, so that's now in. Now that's gone in easier than what the old one came out, but then the other one had big rivets hanging out of it, so that might have something to do with it. So now you can get your little tiny bolts um, I showed you, and they're just going to here, one into there. Just locate it. It might want to sit down a bit more yet, but we'll find it in a minute. Just find the locating holes, one on each side. I'll just sit down just a touch more, Mick. Not quite there. There it goes. That feels better. And then just find the locating holes and then do them bolts up. There's one. So that one was actually quite easy. It was this side here, which is the, the difficult one. So let me get them bolts done up, I'll be back to you in two ticks. Okay, and with your um, cylinder now securely fitted, we can now fit the uh, side inspection panel, give it a bit of a tap. And as I say, if it came out 
with four bolts. So you need to be doing four bolts up. If you don't do the four bolts up, there could be a risk you've got one of your bolts on the lawn. And the last thing you want to do is have a freshly ground cylinder and run over that bolt. Because you'll hear it when the cylinder strikes it. And then you have a nice big dink in the cylinder. So do those up and that should be um, job finished. Um, I'm 110% convinced this will now work 100% better than what it was beforehand. That bed knife was absolutely mullered. So I'm in the market for a new bed knife and I'm in the market for a new um, 20 inch grass deflection shield at the back. I'll put one of those on and then I can get the cylinder ground um, because I believe all the time it's been used like that, um, people have been adjusting that cylinder left, right and centre. So um, there's no point mucking about it. I'm gonna take the cylinder out, take it off the cassette uh, mountings take it down the shop to my local um, garden centre, because I don't do it myself, garden machinery place, and get them to grind it. And once it's been ground, um, we can then uh, have that as a good spare for this, for this mower or for another 20 that I have outside. So that'd be good. So I hope that video um, helped you guys out. So there you have it. Nice little video for you there. If your cylinder mower is not cutting correctly, and you can tell by the way in which it's delivering grass into the grass box, or if you do a nice, nice line all the way down the lawn, Go back and inspect your grass. If you're missing bits in the center of a cut or either ends of a cut, then your cylinder is not connecting properly with that bed knife. And the first thing to do is get a relatively good straight edge. And this one here, it doesn't have to be brilliant. Put it right across the, across the bed knife. If you see any daylight or if it rocks like that, your bed knife is bent. And if your bed knife is bent, then your cylinder will never ever cut correctly. Your cylinder may, may not be warped or anything like that. So it may be good to go there and use bed knife these around about 20 to 30 quid and you'll be good to go depending on the size of your machine. Simply fit the new bed knife to it. You can then try and back lap it uh, or get it professionally ground and you may be good to go um, without having any more intervention. So there you go. Quick little video for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mouse and Mower Man, hit your subscribe button or whack the old bell. Set your notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon, but until then, people don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.